So tell us about Lowe's, Bob, where, uh, you know, that's been a client where there have been some wins and, and you can certainly rally around the rest of, of the agency and say, no, no, this, this works. Uh, how did it work? What was it? Well, I think, you know, we've been doing it probably four years or so now. I think that really helps. started in as, uh, yeah, I've been doing dynamic video for quite a long time. I mean, um, you know, the weather targeting, I think for a business like Lowe's, seasonal, uh, spring's a huge, uh, you know, huge uh, time of year for the business. Um, bad weather, good weather has a massive impact on their business. And when you're talking about relevance and the type of project someone is gonna do that upcoming weekend, you have an ability to put the right message tailored to the right kind of project at the right time in front of the consumer. That's, but that's table stakes now. I think that that's kind of easy to do. I think where you start getting smarter is the moments in people's lives and the behavioral data that can make their way into a creative brief and then shoot something that is emotionally resonant and then put the message on the back end of it. So it can be kind of functional within a category or you bought a thing here for here's the next thing you should buy and actually using the data that we know about people to appeal to them in more emotional terms. So a little more if then statements on the reactive side, a little more strategic and upfront and shooting for specific emotions and mindsets on the proactive That's side. Right. That's right. And, and, and it actually requires a shift I think on the, on the client side to not just think channel first, but to think about video and, and consumer first. And so what do we need to make for them? Give us, give us some insights into that, actually. When, when maybe not four years ago, but recently uh, with the latest iteration of this, uh, you know, you're, you're in Charlotte making the pitch. I mean, how much of a hurdle was it around, wait, you want us to have you guys make how many of these now? And it's going to cost what? And we're being charged. And Where's the back end? I mean, we're going to sell, what, a, a couple more? Yeah, you got to you got to start wide, and then you can get narrow. Because, yeah. I mean, I think that where's the juice worth the squeeze, right? You can cut it way too thin and overproduce a whole bunch of content that's going to be really expensive. Or you can start there and do a lot of testing and learning. And testing and learning can just be, you know, the, the um, order within the story that you're trying to tell. If you're doing something weather-driven, is putting the weather up front and then the narrative important? Is putting the narrative first and then the weather? I mean, like, these are testable propositions, so you have to be agile in market, and you have to be able to create all the different assets, look at it quickly, respond, throttle up when, when it's appropriate.